Hey guys, welcome back to another Z Code System video. And this week we're talking NFL Week 4 as we get ready for some more big gridiron action. And this week is going to be dominated by some big divisional rivalries taking place as we see the teams in the AFC North and the teams in the AFC East doing battle. Guys, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and you can check out all of our great blogs there and some information about signing up to the VIP at Z Code System. And there you can see my latest blog and what we're going to talk about today, the NFL Week 4 predictions. Of course, let's scroll down just a sec here and you can see some of the other things that we have going on, such as blogs on Major League Baseball. We're getting ready for the playoffs there, so you're going to want to check that out. And uh, some of the other things, the Stamos 350 Units of Profit blog there. You can write, read about that, find out more, and get up to date on everything that's happening over at Z Code System. So as I was saying to you guys, we're going to talk about the NFL's Week 4, which is coming up just a few days away. Uh, before we do that, I want to talk to you about the 10-Day Challenge. So guys, here is the 10-Day Challenge, and this is presented by Kevin, who is a VIP and uh, member of Z Code System, and he's got this great 10-day challenge to go from $50 to over $2,800. So I think you should check this out. Go and look at the URL there. You can find this uh, on the blog and read about it. And you can see, as I scroll down, how Kevin is going to help you get from $50 all the way up to almost $3,000 in profits. So you can go and check that out. And don't forget to upgrade to be a VIP member to follow Kevin right now and to get even more great picks from him and predictions as we go on through the NFL season and baseball playoffs get underway. Now, over to those NFL Week 4 picks that I promised. So as you can see here, we've got the Cleveland Browns taking on the Baltimore Ravens. And Cleveland was hyped up massively in the preseason, and right now we are seeing the wheels come off that bandwagon, along with a lot of people jumping off of it. The Browns won and two after three games. They lost last week to the L.A. Rams, and, you know, L.A. being the Super Bowl runners-up, you expect the Browns to fall short there. They came pretty close. It was a pretty close game in the end, but they all they ultimately lost that game. One and two going into week four. Now, the Ravens, they also lost uh, in week three to the Kansas City Chiefs. However, they had won two games prior to that, and we can see those there. They had beaten the Arizona Cardinals and the Miami Dolphins, and they go into this game hot, as you can see here, um, hot down on uh, Z Code Systems VIP picks wall. Now, the Ravens and the Browns with a big rivalry here, as we all know, NFL fans, the Baltimore Ravens, uh, basically were that original Cleveland Browns team that moved to Baltimore. Of course, uh, that heritage has all gone back to Cleveland now when the Browns formed in the late 90s. These teams have played 40 times in their history since 1999, and the Ravens have won 30 of those 40 games. That's incredible. Now, the Browns did win last season against the Ravens. It was one of their seven victories, but that game came in Cleveland. I am backing the Baltimore Ravens in this game. I can't see the Browns uh, beating the Ravens in Baltimore. Uh, the Ravens have been good. They did lose to Kansas City Chiefs, as I said earlier. The Chiefs are probably the best team uh, other than the New England Patriots in the AFC right now, possibly one of the two, three, four best teams in the NFL right now. Uh, Ravens to beat the Browns this weekend for me, and uh, we can look at their head-to-head. Uh, -head. Yeah, I'll scroll down to that, and we'll look at the head-to-head -head from the last few seasons. Uh, as you can see, the Browns, like I said, they did win last year in Baltimore. That went to overtime. Or sorry, in Cleveland, that is, and that went to overtime. But other than that, the Ravens have dominated in recent seasons. I'm going with a Ravens win to beat Balt uh, to beat Cleveland, that is, and to inflict more pain on uh, the Browns fans who were so excited for the Browns this season to do well. But unfortunately, that's not going to happen in Baltimore. All right, guys, let's check out another game that's going to be going on this weekend. And this is a huge game in the AFC East between two undefeated teams. All 
All right, we've got the New England Patriots and the Buffalo Bills. Patriots going to the Bills to play this game. Now, during the offseason, the big news around the Buffalo Bills was a possible relocation due to the size of Buffalo, mid-market, as well as a stadium uh, not being forthcoming from the city and the Bills possibly looking into moving to a, another city. Now, Buffalo have started 3-0, and fantastic starts to this season, and the Patriots, they've also started 3-0. So one team that we expected to do well, the Patriots, doing very well, and a team that maybe we didn't expect to do so well, the Buffalo Bills, but both are burning red hot right now. Now, here's the problem. The Bills, they haven't played the best of teams so far to become 3-0. and So I'm a little bit skeptical that the Bills can go and defeat the Patriots or, or can defeat the Patriots at home. And uh, the Bills, as you can see there, they defeated the Bengals last weekend, uh, 21-17. Before that, the Giants by two touchdowns. And uh, the week before that, week one against the Jets, just a one-point victory. Not so great, in my opinion, because the Patriots have only allowed 17 points across three games this season in the NFL. That's the lowest total of any team right now. The defense is playing great. But here's a caveat to that. The Patriots did allow 14 points to the New York Jets last weekend. So is there hope for Buffalo? Perhaps. But I'm not going with Buffalo on this one. I'm going with the Patriots to win. I like that 28-19 scoreline. I don't know, though. Will the Buffalo be able to get 19 points against this tough, rugged defense of the Patriots? Not so sure about that. So let's take a look real quickly at the head-to-head -head between these two teams. Um, I've already told you I'm back in the New England Patriots in this game, and here's a little bit more proof why. The Buffalo Bills have not won since beating the Patriots 16-0, or 16-0, that is, uh, October 2nd. Uh, in 2016. That was the last time that they were able to win, and that came at Foxborough. So I'm going Patriots on this. Patriots, one of those teams that we love to hate and we hate to love, and uh, Tom Brady and Bill Belichick just keep doing it uh, at the moment. But guys, you can go over to the Z Code System blog and check out one other prediction I had in my blog this week, and that is for the Cincinnati Bengals against the Pittsburgh Steelers. And remember, Ben Roethlisberger is now out for the rest of the season after having elbow surgery earlier this week. He won't be back till next season. So check that blog out. Read all about that at Z Code System. And uh, let us know what you think in the comments. So guys, good luck with your NFL betting for week four. We hope you win a lot of profits. And we'll see you next time for week five of Gridiron Action. We'll see you guys.